This is the Back to Jerusalem 30-Day Prayer Guide for North Korea. Day 16. Spies in the Midst. In North Korea, the word started to spread about a Chinese believer named Chan. Not his real name. Chan had a cross on his door and would help North Koreans in search of food and supplies. Chan was a dream come true for the many North Koreans who would sneak across the border to China looking for resources to help them survive. They did not understand what made Chan different or why he would freely give out such valuable items to people that he did not even know. One by one, and night after night, the North Koreans would knock on Chan's door and ask him for help. His Korean was broken, but his warm heart was welcoming to them. He would sit down with them in his living room, offer a warm cup of tea, and share about Jesus. After a while, there were regulars that came often and sat with him to read from the Bible. They would sometimes bring their friends and have a Bible study together. One night, a man knocked on the door that Chan had never met before. He asked if he could come in. Chan warmly welcomed him in to join the Bible study after the other North Koreans had already started the Bible study together. The man had many questions and he kept interrupting the Bible study, but he was not asking questions about the Bible, the teaching, or even about Chan's reason for helping. Instead, he seemed to have many questions for the other North Koreans in the room. Chan did not know it that night, but by the next morning, all of his friends had been arrested after the meeting. The man that Chan did not know was a spy sent by the North Korean government to infiltrate the network of Christian churches that help refugees. Chan's story of being monitored by spies is a common occurrence today as China and North Korea both try to infiltrate and destroy the network of underground Christian churches. Prayer Points Christians that minister in North Korea continually find themselves attacked by secret agents posing as believers. It is a common occurrence for spies that are sent by the government to attend house church meetings and obtain information on the leaders and all those that attend. Pray that God gives his followers a spirit of discernment and does not allow fear to seep in and close their hearts. Today's scripture reading comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verses 16 to 22. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves, but beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought of, or, of how or what you shall speak, for It shall be given to you in that hour what you shall speak, for it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father, the child, and the children rise up against their parents, and cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved.